So um, to go on through a solving problem like this, all right, I always like to, um, when looking at an exponential problem like this, one of the main important things we always like to do is try to go ahead and determine if you can get things to the same base. All right? Because if, you, if we can go through this, hopefully you guys understand. And this is my example I used all the time last year. Or whenever I'm explaining by writing this, if I have an example like this, I always want, if I know that 2 raised to the x equals 2 squared, then I know that x has to equal 2, right? So therefore, the bases, we can just eliminate and say, all right, x equals 2. We're good, right? So what I want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is when I have a problem like this and I can possibly convert the base, if possible, let's convert it. So can I rewrite, so I have a base of 2 over here. Can I rewrite 32 as a base 2 raised to a power? Yes. And anybody have the idea? 2 to the what? Fifth. Very good. So now, ladies and gentlemen, that I have the same bases raised to the powers, by using the property of equality for exponents, I know that now my exponents have to be equal. So x minus 3 equals 5, and solve. Add 3, add 3, x equals 8. OK, the ocho. Got it? Remember it?